All right, today I'm working on, for the first time, 2003 Mitsubishi Montero. The transmission is a V5A51. It's a five-speed automatic rear-wheel drive. And we're going to do a highlight video on it because I've, since being the first time I'm working on one of these, I wanted to break this thing down so I can kind of get familiar with it so I can show you the things uh, that we can go over the transmission together. And when I'm breaking it down, I'm taking it apart, I says, wow, this thing looks very similar to an F5A51, a uh, front wheel drive version. Like, uh, for instance, on the F5A51, you pull the back cover off and you have the four rings like you would have on the back cover. And then you would have the, the uh, high drum and the reverse input drum on that back cover. And usually in the front on the F5A51, you have the underdrive drum with the shaft going through it. And, and that is in this section here of the transmission. So, no codes on the engine, no codes on the trans, and what this thing was doing was it basically, you start out and drive, it would fall out of speed and, and bang back in, we were able to get it inside, but uh, reverse it, delayed a little bit, but it had to reverse, but basically no drive. But when you switched it over to manual mode and put it down into manual one, the thing took off fine, no problem. So pretty much any time you have that with an automatic transmission, that would tell me there's something wrong with the low spray. Because now you have an assist coming on, probably like maybe like the reduction band or something is coming on uh, to assist. And that's why the car would move. But regular drive, it takes off on the spray, and probably the underdrive clutch, it, it did not move. So right away I knew we were dealing with the spray problem. And of course when I took this thing apart, that's exactly what I found, and then some. You know, this whole planet set is, uh, is destroyed, which, um, which I'll go over. So what we'll do tomorrow um, is we'll open up the drums, we'll look at the clutches. So far, I just got a batter kit, and I'm going to need a center support, which I'm gonna show you. Four, okay, eight lugs, um, which I got coming, which is a few days out, and I am pricing out the planet sets. Uh, so I'm going to do that on Monday because everybody's closed now. It is after hours. I want to do an intro. But, you know, like also on the F5A51, you have the accumulators. And just like that, same things. I mean, it's, you know, it's amazing, the similarities. But, again, we're just going to go over this tomorrow. Um, the unit, the case, the valve body's a mess. i got to wash all that out. Um... And I guess that's about it. This one has the accumulators here and also has two accumulators in the case too and it's, and it's marked. Uh, this is RB, which is probably reverse brake and DC, which is direct clutch for the accumulators. Uh, all right, so I guess that's about it. Uh, so we will continue tomorrow morning, uh, do a highlight video. Again, we'll go through everything and then I gotta kind of put it aside uh, so I can wait for my parts. All right, so I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. All right, back with you this morning. And here is the planet set and the center support, which is the problem area here. All right, here is the low sprig, which really should be in here. And this thing kind of got welded right on there. That's why it wouldn't move and drive and then again, when you put it in low and the assist comes on and it moves, that's a classic sign of a bad spray. So I have this piece coming and identified by the eight lugs. Okay, there's a washer here. And this is also held in snap ring. the inside of this planet here. I don't know if you can see that. It's all busted up. Couldn't really even get these things apart. Bearing here, and this is all damaged here. Also, two of these pins, if you can see these pins in the back. Both of those two pins are broken up and the gears are busted, so this thing's in pretty bad shape. 
And then you got your sun gear and shaft. All right, this will fit inside here. And then this goes in here like that. And then of course the whole thing goes inside here and then you have a snap ring that sits in there. And then the sun gear slash clutch hub goes over. So I'm pricing out the planet sets. Actually this uh, I got to do that when everybody opens up. I got to call a couple of suppliers and see what's available. Because these transmissions, you know, I, I guess they're pretty good because I've never gotten one. This is the first one I'm getting, so I'm not sure what is available out there, but I know somebody has it, but just got to see who. Okay. Here is the pump, and here are the four rings, like on the F5A51 rear cover. And we have a washer back here. So we're going to open this up and see what we got. We got a couple of probably exhaust check balls, if you can hear them, right in here. Oh, some parts just arrived, if you can give me one second, please. Okay, all right, so state of looks okay. Here are the pump gears, I can flat sand these. And we can, we'll be able to work with those. Okay, this is nice. And both of these dots here on these pump gears face up. If you can see that. And the pump body. Hey, it looks all right. Pump body and the stator are in a lot better shape than the gears, but I can work with those gears. Alright, I'm going to take this bearing race off here. Should be the high clutch and reverse clutch. Okay, so we're gonna look at the reverse clutch and the overdrive clutch. And these are right behind the pump. And here, your input heat sensor reads off. And these clutches actually are flaked off down to nothing. And this did have, like reverse wasn't the greatest, it had like a delay in reverse, but there's nothing even left on this clutch. Okay, so this is the hub for the overdrive, bearing on each side. bed. We can actually just leave 
on here. Put this aside. Here's the low reverse and second brake. Let me move this down. This thing is messed up pretty good. Here's that wave steel that goes on the bottom of the low reverse piston, which is also part of the center support, goes in here. Alright, you gotta watch this setup just like the F5A51s. Same exact thing. Alright, but these these are you know pretty bad shape here. These clutches and steels, this one, nothing even on it. Alright, and then you have the pressure plate. This thing would take a snap ring. And then the pressure plate is a little recessed. Then there should be another snap ring that goes on top of that. Which is this one. Okay. And then you have the clutch. So you have the pressure plate and the two snap rings, and then you have the clutch, and then you have another recessed one with the teeth because of the snap ring that would face down. <clears throat> these are intermediates, these are in pretty bad shape. So I'm gonna need to be getting some steels also. And then you have the second piston. Here's the snap ring hold the piston down. Alright, the return. And then you have a little tab here that gets lined up with the case so you can line up your feed hole here. Okay. All right, so inside this housing is your underdrive clutch. So this snap ring was a little bit of a pain to get out, so I just left it out. All right, so we'll lift the cover off. You got a bearing here, another bearing, clutch hub, and another bearing here. And then, and here's the underdrive clutch hub, and then you have another bearing that goes there. These look like they're pretty burnt out as well. I don't know how this thing freaking moved when the spray was good. These things are wiped out. There's really no forward clutch on this, so it would take off on the underdrive clutch. And these, these um, Steels and I believe clutches too are the same as the F5A51. Okay, so then this would go back on here. <clears throat> All right, this is like a rear support. It's bolted in. I'm going to show you on the case. There's actually a gasket that goes on here, and it's bolted in. You got your sprag down in here uh, with the snap ring. You got a couple of rings, uh, ceiling rings, and that would house the fifth clutch.
get this thing out. Here is the, uh, I guess they will call it the reduction band. It goes on here. And I'll show you the where the piston lives for the band. This is the piston. All right. Let's get this snap ring out here. Really just got to get behind it. Bad. These look good. It's about the only good thing, as far as the clutches and steels go. And you got a another battery. And it sits here, and then everything sits on here like that. Now we got a rear planet and output speed sensor. Right here, and it's also the hub. For the fifth clutch. Right, let me show you this case here. All right, let me get the whole case into the screen. Okay, so you have your accumulators that again look like this. <clears throat> uh, the one up here that I marked only takes one spring and the rest take two springs. All right, you have your feed for the uh, second clutch through here and that is this one. I believe these come in the kit, I have to actually look. And then you have your low reverse feed which is the seal for that. Down in here, and you got three O-rings for the valve body, the servo for the uh, reduction band, for the band. Okay, you have your input speed sensor here. Output speed sensor here. Uh, these are accumulators on the outside of the case. This one I didn't take out yet, but we'll see if we can get that out. And this is where that back support goes. There's actually a gasket here, and it bolts in from this side. So I took the bolts out, I took the butt of the hammer and hit it from in the case, and it fell right out. Pretty interesting uh, trains, you know. If, uh, again, first time uh, doing one of these. And I took the linkage out. Linkage, of course, goes through here. And because this is pretty all rusted up, and there's no way I was probably going to get that uh, nut off for the linkage without breaking that, so I just took the whole thing out. And there is a pin that goes here, and this could fall out very easily. All right, it basically just holds it. So the pin can fall out very easily. Just like on the F5A51, it has a pin as well. And then here is the roll pin uh, for the linkage. There's a screen that sits right here. If you can see that, that's all loaded up with crap. They usually come in the kit, but again, I have to look in the kit. And also, oh, here, and probably down in here, you got some little dowels that as you pull the valve body out, the dowels will fall out. So just be careful with those. Right here is the input speed sensor. Got some crap on it here. And this is the output speed sensor. Mm 
All right, let me just uh, show you this valve body. I'm definitely got to open this valve body. There's a lot of crap on this one. And these solenoids are all lined up. I'm sure they're all the same. I didn't do the research, but they probably are. All right, here is your electrical connector. And of course, there is a clip that holds it. Where is the clip? Here it is. This is the clip that holds it on the outside. And then you just knock this out and then push everything through and pull the harness out with the valve body. All right, so I'm definitely gonna open this and the solenoids are all lined up here versus on the F5A51, you got like three and three. Manual valve. Here is your park gear. It's held on with a snap ring. Okay, this has a little more uh, recess there. And Let's see. All right, so I marked it. So this is going to face out the stack mill going here, and this part, larger part, faces in. <clears throat> I think that's about it for this uh, 03 Mitsubishi Montero V5A51. <clears throat> uh, again, this did not move in dry, but it did move in low, which <clears throat> Basically, it's a classic sign of a bad sprig. All right, so I got this whole center support coming with the race. And that's a couple of days away, so I did find that. <clears throat> Landed set, I got to continue the research on that and see what's available. Uh, the Planet set is not the same as the F5A51, but the steels are. I think I may have a unit. Uh, but I can probably steal some of the steel plates out of that, you know, half a part already. I'm going to open it and see what I got in there. And basically, the, the delayed in reverse, uh, we saw that those clutches were no good. Um, and it did not take off and drive. It basically took off and low. So that's what we found. So this thing's in pretty bad shape. So I'm going to continue the research on my parts and kind of go from there. And you know, I want to show you one other thing with the, the bell housing here. The way it looks, if there is a recess here, it looks like that you may have to put the pump on first and then put the bell housing, because there is a step and there's a little chamfer here. So to put the pump uh, bell housing and then the pump on, I don't really think it's going to work. So when I do put this back together, um, pump first and it pretty much sticks way up and then bell housing. All right, you know, I want to see if we can get this uh, accumulator out. And this says, um, it says here RB, so I'm assuming that means reverse brake. This one wasn't so easy. Had a little bit of a time getting that uh, top off. Yeah, this one's going to be easy. Wow. That one didn't come out that easy. Okay, so we got the spring. And now let's get the piston. about it for this unit next thing to do is uh, heat up the tank and just start cleaning this down and then continue the research on the parts uh, for the planet set a little later on so we got a 2003 Mitsubishi Montero a V5A51 
And the problem, the main problem with this is the car really didn't move in drive, but it moved in low, which again is a classic sign of a bad sprig. And of course the sprig is not supposed to be on here, it should be within the planet set, but the sprig kind of probably got, you know, fused there, got welded onto there. And, and then when you put it in low and the car moves, that's pretty much a classic sign of a sprig is no good. So I'm just going to continue cleaning it up. Um, going to need some steels for this. Got to research the planet set. Uh, definitely got to open and clean up the valve body. So I'm going to heat up my tank and get going right, on this. One thing on this uh, overdrive reverse drum, there is a small snap ring that you can take out to take the input shaft out. And it will give you access basically to take the drum apart. You got your snap ring in here to remove the pistons. Uh, to change the seals in there. And then, once again, bearing here, and this sits on top of the drum. So that's about it for this 03 Mitsubishi Montero V5A51. Uh, no movement in drive. Uh, found the sprig welded to the, that uh, is the low sprig, welded to the inner race, which is part, well, I don't think it's part of the center support, but I'm getting the center support that comes with the race. But all that comes apart to have the seals changed. And reverse wasn't the greatest. We found the reverse clutches out of here. Um, pretty much flaked off. They were no good. Uh, so just overall, transmission's really not that great a shape. I'm going to research the planet sets. And again, I have the center support coming. So <clears throat> I guess that is about it for this V5A51. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And we will see you next one.